Um, hey, this is Dragonfeather, and I'm here to do my crystal meditation. Um, another couple of stones that I didn't get to go over in the other videos is because they weren't in this book. Um, this is Smoky Quartz, and it is an, a stone for all types of protection. Um, you can put it right above your door to protect your room, or you can put it right above your door to protect your house. Um, another thing is a dried piece of magma or lava, and it is a stone of fire, and it helps with um, bringing up passion that has been lost. Another one is red jasper, and I do not know much about red jasper, though I do know it is a great stone to use for your base chakra. And we have a gate. Again, I don't really know much about this stone, um, but I know it can be great for either the navel chakra or the solar, not the solar plexus chakra, or the root chakra. Um, so the meditation I'm going to go over with you guys is a chakra meditation. And the stones you're going to need, or you can improvise um, with whatever you saw in my other videos if it helps for you, is a red jasper for the root chakra. You're going to use tiger's eye for the navel chakra. Where did it go? You're going to use citrine, or you're going to use pyrite, for the solar plexus chakra, you're going to use um, aventurine or melashite for the heart chakra. You're going to use sodalite or, um, I've heard it pronounced differently or I don't remember. Um, sodalite, I think it's also pronounced that way. You're going to use this one or you're going to use aquamarine for your throat chakra. Um, you're going to use amethyst for your third eye chakra and you're going to use quartz or calcite for your crown chakra. Alright, so here's what this meditation is. It's to help you unblock the chakras or help you get to know the chakras. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay down and you're going to place these stones on the certain parts. I am not going to lay down because I'm in my bathroom and that's nasty. Um, so let me just help a little bit with what it might look like. Um, this one would be here. This one would be here. Sodalite or aquamarine would be here or here. Um, your ventrine or your melashite will be right here. Your solar, your, your citrine or your pyrite is going to be right here on your solar plexus, which is also known as your diaphragm. Your tiger's eye is going to be right above your belly button. And your agate or your red jasper is going to be on where your belt would be or right above your, your pretty stuff. Alright, so what you're going to do is when you have all these stones laid down on you, you're just going to relax and beforehand turn off all the lights and set candles if you wish. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to focus on each chakra. You're going to focus on the properties of the stone first and then you're going to meditate on it and you're going to meditate all the negative energy flowing from that chakra into the stone. And you're going to do that with every single stone until you get to the last one and when you're done you are just going to sit there for as long as you need to until you feel like you have been cleansed or you have realized um, what you like what your chakras are and how to better yourself with your chakras all right and that is pretty much it if you have any questions on how to like any other specific questions that I didn't cover in this video um, leave a comment below and if you have a stone that you don't know what it is or excuse me, what the properties are, then um, you can also leave a comment and I can help you. And you can, I'm also going to recommend this book. It's The Essential Guide to Crystals by Simon and Sue Lilly. Um, great book, though it is not the only one I recommend. If there's another book, I do not know who the author is and I apologize, um, but it is called The um, Encyclopedia of Crystals. Um, and that one goes through different types of crystals, like in my book for obsidian, let me find it, it shows this picture of, of obsidian and the one I have is this one. So I had to research the difference between this obsidian and this obsidian and yes there is a difference. Um, and please be careful with obsidian because I've cut myself quite a few times on it. Um, but yes, if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment or a question below and I will help you out. Um, I hope this meditation works for you and feel free to adapt it or change it in any way that would 
that needs be. Um, and until next time, blessed be, and bye-bye.